Hello again to the part 3. This object is real. And now let's see what HoloLens is looking or how HoloLens is looking at my office. So now you see a view. So if I move the head, it's also like following me. And now you can see how HoloLens is actually scanning the room. So I can also have the visualization every step like here and here and here. So even if I don't uh, do it with my finger, the HoloLens is all the time scanning the environment um, just to figure out how the surrounding is, is. For example, if a person is coming in, what could happen? So you'll see we have a lot of errors. So for example, if I go here, I have some, some holes. If I go here, it's also not so good. And now it looks at the table and here on the table. So it is not like perfect. And here's the lamp, but this object seems to be too small. And here we have reflection and here we have a more reflection. So this makes HoloLens almost crazy. And if we go to this place, we have a reflection of the background. So HoloLens has no idea how to manage it. And now you'll see the chair. This is a beautiful one. So let's go maybe to another room. So here we have a hologram. It's not real. And now we have a, a second mirror and now go to another room. So now this room is new. So HoloLens is informing me, so no idea where are you. And now we can scan the surrounding, the ceiling, the floor. The table which is glass table which makes it very very difficult I guess and now also here the place and some of this one okay try to do it with the lamp doesn't work try to do it with this one okay the projector is on and here the drawers yeah we see the drawers and here's some objects inside the floor let's go back okay we started the animation so but we can go back and say stop okay because it is not what you want to say or to show okay okay and now maybe the lamp ah. give another perspective so maybe you did it easier for hololens to get the object okay it's enough so now we can go again to this screen and say, okay, give me an update so I can see what you see. So now the data is like transforming from HoloLens to my computer. And now we can go here inside and see what we have. Okay, I don't want to scan anymore. Okay, and now you see this is the perspective what we have inside. So here is the room, here is the lamp which we have here, and here is the table, not really. So here is the printer and all the stuff, and here is the table I have here. Also I can move like that, and now you see here is the door, here we have some holes inside. Let's go to another direction. Oh, we are inside the wall. Let's go inside. And now you see the ceiling. You see the floor. So you see the quality is okay, but it's for sure not perfect. So you'll see here uh, another parts of the office. So here, for example, the room we went before. Okay, and oops. And now I can say I want to have the first person perspective. Okay, and I see what HoloLens is saying. And what we will do in X, X, uh, staff is like to figure out how to or interact with this meshes. And also we can save the room and we can do it a little bit more perfect and then put it in Unity, for example, inside. So now I have the object again, 
And now I try to make this a little bit better. So let's go here. Let's see if we can get the table because before table was not really recognizable. Oh, now we get it. Oops, now we have something like a table. Oops, sometimes it's not really working. So I would like to have. Okay. So here is a glass object. So it is like not possible to get it as it seems. So I try again with the table. Okay, now we have here an object. Try to get the lamp a little bit better. So the chair is working all the time good. This table is okay. This table is not perfect. The cocktail is okay. And now the lamp. So let's go from this direction maybe. Okay. Okay, and it's too far away. This is not recognized. So you see now also the, the cursor. The cursor is recognized the deep of the room and then it's going more smaller, which means like it's going more inside of the room. Okay. So now we're here. So let's see again what happened to the to the special uh, special representation of the room. So let's change to oops, where is my mouse here? And now the first person perspective. Let's go inside again. So now we're inside. And now you see here, oops, I give you the so this is the representation of the oops, of the table. I'll change the perspective a little bit. So now here do you, you see the book regal shelf and here you see the the desktop one, you see here the chair and this is on this configuration. Now you see an error, here you see the clock which is beautiful, here you see the, the TV and now you see also the second doors. So let's go a little bit outside and go again inside so we can see the perspective. Okay, and here you see this broken here is a is the table, this one. And this is how we can die. And this is the lamp actually in the middle of. And so see it's like a lot of dizziness, like not dizziness, but a lot of like information which is not perfect. You still see here the windows. Um, and what we will do is like um, figure out how we navigate inside, how our robot can go and by, by herself and, um, and don't run into some of the objects or inside the hole or something like that. Okay, thank you for today. Bye bye.